you're still watching ways now the second wednesday of march every year marks world no smoking day this year is dedicated to raising awareness about the dangers or harmful effect of smoking tobacco products like cigarettes cigars or bd now not just that the purpose of this day is also to help smokers quit harmful herb, um, habits rather it's also meant to discourage people across age groups not to pick up the habit of smoking cigarettes or anything involving tobacco so please so uh, you know what? it's so interesting have you smoked before paper yes when we we're children you know the way you roll paper <laughs> and, you, and you pretend smoking and all of that i did that you know but it, it didn't stick the thing is even on the pack of the cigarettes they write smokers are liable like, to die young. Young. And and yes, it's take it. a lot of people I, I think smoking is actually quite prevalent in the north I don't know really? about here. Yeah, because maybe because of our mm. cold weather in the north and all, it's quite prevalent in the north. Really, even amongst like, women. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, I had mm. one woman then. Our neighbor, she used to dry guava leaf. She would grind it and now wrap it. <laughs> she would smoke it. The woman, okay. I think she was frustrated in her marriage. For a long something. time, I didn't know women was, were allowed no, people, to smoke. Oh, you didn't know. So when I see women smokers, it's strange always, to you. Yes. But you lived in England, so how come it's still strange? Even at that, ah. <laughs> it was always strange to me when I see women smoking. Like, well, it's, yeah, it's, and it's women not drinking. Usual. It's not you. <laughs> women <my> drinking. <laughs> Ibo, Niger Delta women. Our really? Edo women. Oh God, they drink. So is I went that to socially acceptable? Oh yes, I went to a party on, when was it? When I traveled to Abuja. I saw women. You know, it was shocking because I'd not seen it in a long time. When I see women, maybe champagne, Baileys, or, this one, BS, you know? Stout. No, that one that beats me is when I see like style. <laughs> ah, in front of a woman now. It's strange. <laughs> it's strange. Jennifer, <laughs> what's your smoking experience? Before you tell us what you found in the news. Oh... Um, I think the the first time I had when I was little, I, my dad had this very close friend who used to smoke a lot, mm. and because he knew that my dad didn't like it, uh, didn't like him smoking around him, he would go to one side of the house whenever he comes to visit to smoke, and then as kids, once he drops it like somebody, one of the kids ah. say, "Let's carry it, let's find out what's, what what it yeah, feels so like." So you so. pick it up and then relight it and then put it in your mouth and it will choke you, and you realize that nope. I'm not going down this road anymore. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was, <laughs> I remember. It was an experience. Uh, I think every, every But people never know. really take uh, smokers are liable to die of serious. No, they don't. Too. They don't. But I have an uncle that is a doctor that smokes heavily. Of course, they are the ones that are worse. <laughs> the ones that know the, the consequence. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do. Like, uh, some of them, they're like chimneys. Hmm. All right, so, um, Jennifer, what did you find for us in the news today? Um, okay, so in um, Imo State, some group of some group of men burnt down the police station. Now, the um, Imo State Police Command was saying that those that are behind the burning would be um, would be brought to justice, and they would not go unpunished. So apparently, one of the reasons the the reasons and the reason actually why the they burnt the police station was because a a man's sister was um i think she was killed or she died or something she was arrested for i think it was um pos um theft or something like that yeah and while she was in the police station she had an asthma um, um an asthma attack where she was actually crying out for help and then no one said anything then the brother heard about it got to the police station and then he was asking them what happened to my sister. So I think in the process of asking, things got out of hand and the a policeman killed him. Uh -huh. So when they heard about when who heard about it, they got to the police station and then they burnt it down. Right. So yeah. when they burnt it down, that was actually the problem. And then he the the, the police command um, officer is saying that this is not the first time that um, the youth have actually burnt down a police station so they are urging urging the youth to take it easy and that there are different routes that you can take to actually uh met out justice instead of just burning down the police station so jennifer you're saying that two siblings died in a day yeah that's that's what the news that's is saying news. that's what the story says ah Uwa. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary jesus is that's Lord. very scary 
We have no, to talk no, about no, all no, these no, things. No, you know, no. I was coming... I Nigeria, was... Uh, the police force have to do more Hi, no. on human rights. I tell you. Uh, no, this is, no, this is a jungle. Hmm. No, we are slowly degenerating into it. Even because a jungle we... is even better. Better now. I'm I'm telling still, you, because if you go to a zoo mm -hmm. abroad, you see the way they treat the animals. Mm. We don't get any kind of treatment in Nigeria. This mm. is utterly... Uh, no, this is despicable. Mm -hmm. Two siblings in a day. I'm just putting myself in the shoes human of my family being. members. Two human beings in a day, you mean? <laughs> no, two siblings from the same family. Hmm. That's scary. That's actually scary. And I, I think the, the, the annoying thing is he, he just he's, he's, he has every right to be upset. And he's asking you what happened, what happened, what happened. And As a policeman, you should be able to talk to him in a way that he understands. Why did you have to kill him? He has every right to be upset. He has every right to be angry. So I, I don't know how you expect someone, okay, something is happening to my sibling and you expect me not to be angry because you're a policeman. I shouldn't be angry about it. Come on. Okay. So we're going uh, we're gonna to keep our eyes on that conversation because... Are you is, sure? No, no, we will. Because, because it has ended. Hmm. It, it can't end. It uh, can't end though. Okay, did you see any sign of remorse on the part of, the, of police? the police? They were talking about the PlayStation being burnt, burnt down. And not about the, about two the two lives that, that, were lost that were lost. Yeah. Recklessly. Uh, no, no, no. What did you find for us in the news? Now? Okay, it's about the NLC that picketed um, the the what's it called? The National Assembly today, trying to protest for their right about um, taking off. The national minimum wage off the exclusive list to put it on the concurrent list. I hope you understand what that mm -hmm. means. You know, exclusive list is when it's solely the preserve of the federal government, and concurrent is when it's on. I think I agree with the NLC, the National the Nigerian Labour Congress, that it should be put on the exclusive list. I think it should be put on both lists. And why I say that is, I think for every sane society, there must be a minimum wage there must be a minimum that you cannot go below. Yeah. So on that note, there should be a national minimum wage. But for now, states that can pay higher, I think that is when the concurrent list will also come in, that they should be able to now engage the governors, the NLC in that state, should now be able to engage the governor to say, we know these are your revenue and this and that and generation and all that, that you must be able to pay more. Mm. So I think it behoves on the federal government and the state government. But to say that it's not going to be strictly on the state government, it's going to be too bulky for them because now there's not going to be a national voice. Every NLC, so you're not going to split them Based into 36. States. Yes. So it's a lot of how. Well, you know already there are no vi Some states are just completely... I'm not saying... Uh, listen, so, no, what what it means I guess that let them match. Yeah. If you are not a viable state, if you cannot pay yeah. minimum salary, then it means you're not a viable state. They match them. To Why another do we state need that can states? handle it. I was of even going to say that, even for instance, cost of living in Lagos, everybody knows that it's crazy. So we can't because be on the same national minimum wage no, with it's, 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 actually, it is actually, it's actually wickedness for you to put me on the same minimum Salary wage. Scale. What <laughs> I am saying is, yes, there can be a minimum wage of about 30,000, mm. but people in Lagos, it's workers in Lagos, it should negotiate Lagos, higher. Lagos, Abuja, Port they Park, must all those negotiate states where you have higher. Higher living expenses should yeah. actually go higher. I think they should. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. All right, so mine is good news. Um, um, first of all, I saw some things trending on Twitter. The vice president is trending that everybody needs themselves and a super job. So <laughs> that one is trending. How about? Another, well, just about his loyalty, the fact that you know you're, he's dependable and all of that. Really? Then um, another lady was trending. She was appointed. Um, uh, something with uh, was it Apple and, and the business management? Yeah, that's her name. Uh, yeah, she was appointed. Um, she's because Uni Loring was trending as well. So Teju Al Alani, yes, that's her name. She was appointed um, head of um, business, I think. For it's not Alani. Uh, Teju Alani. Alani. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. So and again, flutter wave. Flutterwave yeah. is my main story. So African payment company Flutterwave raises $170 million. Now it's valued at $1 billion. Wow. This is an amazing news because, wow. I mean, everybody knows the history of Flutterwave, how this started and all of that. So I just wanted to put it out there. Very soon, I think we will try to find how to bring, you know, the, yeah. the people behind Flutterwave. And let's just have a conversation because this is good news for me. It tells me there's hope. And especially yeah. what we're talking about today, African businesses and all of that. I mean, women in businesses. How do we get our businesses to Into this level? Into the limelight, yeah. Yeah, to this that's level. Good. So that's the conversation. Congratulations to them. Yeah, congratulations to Flutterwave and the entire team.
All right, so we'll take a break. When we return from the break, we'll be discussing women entrepreneurs. Stay with us. We'll be right back.